Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to this walkthrough of L.A. Noir. This is Blackjack Kent, and we are on the homicide desk now. We've reached the big leagues, and we are in search of a uh, murderer called the Werewolf, who's evidently done some really nasty stuff to a local young lady here. Patrolman, this your beat? Yes, sir. What well, part of it? Kids park here, they use it like a lover's lane. It's a working neighborhood. Some trouble, but nothing like this. It's uh, known locally as the Moors. You were first on the scene? Yes, detective. No one's disturbed the body? No, sir. We cleared out them vulture reporters so Pinker and the coroner could work. They're waiting to talk to you. Go house to house and see what you come up with. All right, let's go. Have a look around here at all our clues. What can you tell me about the shoe prints? Men's size eights. Pinker lifted impressions for me to compare back at the lab. You sound so depressed, dude, whoever you are. Alright, so men's size eight. Wait, was there anything I could further investigate there? Or. our other yellow indicated clues. Is that a bottle? Oh no, it's a it's a purse. Well, Phelps won't be quite so excited since it's not a bottle, but that's okay. What's inside, Phelps? Lipstick! My god! Looks brand new. Can't be the one used on the body. Then why do we care? Okay. Put it away, Phelps. We got bigger fish to fry. What is that? Is that a mirror? Or a brush? No, it's a... What the hell is that? I think it's a hairbrush. But I'm not positive. Anyone has any insight on this? Is it like an emery board? I don't even know. Put it down, Phelps. It's clearly not relevant. The victim was not killed with an emery board. Interesting as that might have been. That like is... some kind of puzzle or parlor game. That's not what I would have said, but okay. Does it open? Oh, I gotcha. Okay, so we have to make the world out of it. That's Australia, not South America. That's uh, Africa. There's South America. Get in place. Okay. And good and good. Magnificent. Property of the Bomba Club. Why steal a table lighter? Why would you make your table lighters that complicated? All right, so property of the Bamba Club, 626 North Spring Street, downtown. Random. Okay. So why would a table lighter be on the scene? I want to finish looking around here before. Uh, before looking at the body. So we've kind of learned from our previous cases is... Whoa! What was that? Hey there. Another Doesn't thing. Me anything to go on. Oh, for God's sake, Phelps. I thought I'd found something secret. Um, we've learned we want to get all the clues before talking to anyone. Who are you? I don't know. Does it matter? Is there anything over here? I don't know if we're only worried about stuff inside the string or not. I may try using uh, intuition in a minute. But first we're going to look at the body. Innocent eyes, please look Pause away. Death. Could be the head injuries. She has been badly stomped. The cuts look superficial. I'll, I'll know for sure in an hour. Right, let's go left to right here. Interesting on her hand. 
hole, my boy. Nope. Back it on up. Uh, let's try her. Oop, okay. Or that. Anything over here? Oh ho! What about this wound on the finger? Something removed. A ring, most likely. I assume it was taken post-mortem. Hmm. So she had a ring, but she doesn't anymore. Seems unlikely someone would go to all this trouble for a ring, though. Anything? Oh, ho! What caused go. the blunt force injury to the face? Could be anything from a baseball bat to a lug wrench. I'll have more details after the autopsy. You're not really much help, are you, Mr. Coroner? She was beaten with something. I think we saw in the cutscene that it was like a crowbar. Am I misremembering that? Hmm. Interesting. Fuck. T E. Fuck you. B D. T E something. Alright. What does the writing on the victim mean? B D. Black Dahlia? Tex? Your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it, or it could be the killers trying to throw you off the scent. Either way, I'll run tests on the lipstick. Any idea of the time of death? From the temperature, I'd say after midnight. I'll confirm with you later. Can we get to the bomba? Man could die of thirst in a case like this. Um, I'm going to... I can't tell if it's played the music that says that uh, we've found everything. Oh. Oop, no, what is it? Uh, there it is. Oh, we must have found them all, because uh, it's not highlighted. So, let's get out of here. You get to drive, as usual. Mista, uh, who's my partner? Rusty something? Somebody or other? You get to drive. I don't drive. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? Bomba club. Nightclub and bar frequented by murder victim. We don't technically know that, but okay. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. It's rock and roll. <coughs> the werewolf? For my money? Copycat. We can't rule it out. We need to work the evidence. <laughs> You'd love that, wouldn't you? A big head to hang on your wall. The caller of the decade. You've been working evidence in BD case for six months and got next. There's a difference, Rusty. Oh, yeah? I just started working it today. Okay, Oddshot. What's more likely? The werewolf comes back around, leaving us unknown in the court? He clearly has a thing for power. Power over women. Why not power over the police department as well? Let me finish that. <laughs> the guy opens his mouth again after six months. I'm not driving, by the way. For some opportunist who's been reading about the BD figures, he'll rip off the ammo and get himself a freebie. That's not totally fantastical. You know, the examiner of the Daily News might be good at coming up with monikers, but they're terrible for police work. There's a reason we didn't get the son of a bitch after the short murder. It was them, locusts. Where do you think the werewolf killer is now? Uh, dead by his own hand, stationed somewhere else with the armed forces. San Quentin, another town, another country, who knows. So, Phillips, I understand you want to turn this into a big case, but it doesn't work like that, all right? A case will come and find you. You can't make it something today. You understand? So you don't think the werewolf has continued to operate in the Los Angeles area? No chance. We would have found it. That was funny as hell. He totally rear-ended somebody. Way to go, Rusty. It's nice to know I'm not the only bad driver in this game. <laughs> That was hilarious. I like you better already, Rusty. Alright, the Bomba Club. What do we got? Cocktails. I like the sound of that. You ought to meet those buddies. Alright. Let's go on in and have a look. I'm here! The party can start. Gentlemen, what can I get you? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Were you working here last night? Yes. How can I help, officer? You can start with your name. Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights? I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. I fill in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? If 
five feet seven, about 110 pounds, blonde hair, about 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? Yes. Do you know anything about her? I don't. But the owner, Mr. McCall, serves him those nights. Would you like to speak to him? I would. He sits at the back of the club. Where's the hibiscus? You can't miss it. Is there anything else? Fire away, Phelps. I'll stay here in my little part. Pour me three fingers of rye. Hey, honey, what's You're a fun guy, you? aren't you? I'm not sure how I feel about this temp bartender. He seems like a bit of a smarmy type. However, we will take his word for it. How does Phelps know that Celine came here last night, also? She just happened to own a thing, a uh, lighter from them, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. What's on the house? I'll take it, whatever it is. Is there anything over here to look at? Nope. 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 Detective Phelps, LAPD. <coughs> We're investigating the murder of Celine Henry. Do you know her? Celine? Christ. Sure I know her. She and I and Jacob, her husband, we go way back. She was here last night? Sure, she's a regular. Celine is... was a... lovely woman. All right. So this is McCall, Bomba Club owner and proprietor. Seems like a nice enough guy. Maybe. Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? Not at first. Celine already had quite a head start. But she attracted attention? Certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. I don't really know why we should disbelieve that at this point, so I'm gonna go ahead and say truth. You know him? Yay! No. He's been in a couple of times. Did they leave together? Yes. At around 11. If it helps, I made the guy's license plate. I think this could be a great help, sir. Thank you. Round heels. At the Bomba Club, get Dick McCall to give up the license plate of Celine Henry's male companion. <laughs> they made a whole achievement out of that? That was really easy. But okay. Alright, so we have the license plate of the guy Celine... whatever, left the club with. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just getting over a cold, so I will probably be coughing a little bit. I'll try to cut most of it out in pre uh, post-production, but... If you may slip through. Um, Alright, so we know her name. We know... Um, we know that she left with someone here. Let's ask about the ring. Mrs. Henry appeared to be missing a ring, torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. Celine always wore a red garnet ring on the large side. Larger than life, like Celine herself. Did she have it a long time? Sure. Since way back in her flying days. Did her husband buy it for her? No, it was, uh, it was before Jacob. These guys have a past, if ever I saw one. All right, and he's clearly holding something back. But is it something that we can point at? I don't. E I don't know what we'd be accusing him of lying about exactly. I'm gonna go ahead and say doubt because I don't. There's nothing I can think of to point to here. I think you Yay. know where the ring came from, and I think you're gonna tell me. Okay, I bought it years ago. I carried a torch for Celine in those days. Still do, if you ask me. I always me. have. The old man never knew about it. Okay. 
Well, that opens up the picture a little bit. You know the husband? Sure I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Celine on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. Put up with a load of shit. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. He's looking pretty direct, but... Let me go ahead and say I think he's telling the truth. Was he ever ah, violent damn. with her? Celine came in here last night looking like she'd taken a slap. They don't live together anymore, so it might not have been him. Thanks, Mr. McColl. You've been a big help. One more thing. Would you have an address for Celine? 142 North Union Avenue. God knows I had to send her home in enough cabs to remember that. All right, so we have Celine Henry's apartment number. I guess I sort of fucked that last bit up, but I didn't really know how to. Let's get out of here. Know whether he was lying or hey, not. Hey, what's the hurry? My stool was just starting to warm up nicely. You're really serious about your work, aren't you, Rusty? All right, where is our go? Oh. Wait, what? What's lit up over there? There's something on the map over here. What is that? What am I looking at? Oh, is this... What is that? Press A to... Use a garn. I can't read what that says. Garnawell? Let's find out. <laughs> 